Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today we're gonna work on some more Icon Swaps 3 objectives. However, we're gonna take a look at one that's been a little bit controversial. And I'm talking about this comma bowl objective. I have heard from a lot of you that this is not working, this is not counting. So I went and checked it out on Twitter. A lot of people are complaining this is not counting. I've seen EA help recognize it. It must be some sort of glitch, but we're gonna test it out today and see if it works. But like I said, I've heard from so many of you and my apologies if I'm mispronounce any names. Andres Ader, Hamod and Zome, Yudi Mood Saman, they have all complained about it. G Freezy, uh, let's see, Salil Ak Aksa, Trons T Tons TV, Ivan Fendry, Vince 27, Seb M, Goblin King, so Super Kristoff 1982, so a ton of you complained and I've seen a lot of it on Twitter as well. But we do have a comma bowl squad that we used from last time to complete this. So I'm going to use this exact same squad that I used to complete the comma bowl objective from our last season of Icon Swaps, which is this one right here. I loved playing with this team. I had actually planned to make a new comma bowl team, maybe using Colombian players or something like that just to switch it up. But we know this team has worked before, so I thought we'd use this one just to test it out. So let's just go right into a match. I'll put a link down below or in my description. I'll have every single player. Player I use because it's still hard to search for those combo ball players. So, so here we are, ready to go into the match. I am really excited to play with this combo ball team again. It was a very enjoyable team to play with. Yesterday, when we did the Stars and Stripes and played with our USA team, it was not a lot of fun to play with. But this team I really did enjoy. So let's just see. We're going up against, they have an Obama Yang, they have Shakiri, they have Keppa and Net. But other than that, not a whole lot. So this should be a fairly easy match that we can just blow through and see if we're going to get that win counted. I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen there. But there's Alessandro Lopez. Let's get everything going. I'm excited for this team. The one that I liked playing with the, the most was this Sriracha. Like he's even four-star skill moves. Just was an absolute monster for us. And as I say that, he gives the ball away while I'm trying to just dribble with him. So let's see what we can do. Got to gotta contain Shakiri and Aubameyang. And Kepa may make some good saves for him in net. But other than that, we should be good to go. As far as tips, you know, any of you guys who have watched a lot of my videos on these, this will be repeating a lot of it. But, you know, you don't need to do anything special. Control the ball. Don't limit your AI's up opportunities. If you're having any trouble with it, try to look at your passing accuracy. Against the, against the AI, you definitely would like to see 90%, especially if you're having any trouble with the match. Lissandro Lopez, like a boss. What an absolute monster Lissandro Lopez is. Oh, and he's going crazy celebrating, too. Look at that. What a monster. Absolute monster, Lissandro Lopez. I still need to try out that 91 or 92 rated card he has. So, I mean, just been an absolute monster for me. Like I said, this team is just is a lot of fun to play with. There's just sometimes you get teams that just play really well together. That USA team yesterday did not play well together. Or it just didn't play well. And maybe we just had one poor match, but just didn't feel like a lot of fun. Sometimes you get games or teams that just feel a lot more fun to play with. So let's get it out of the back. You know, triggering runs is a great way to do something in, in FIFA. There that time I triggered my fullback. I've actually, I have my center back playing right back. I need to fix that. That would make it a little bit better up the wing. Lopez, bossing everything up. Zaracho. Going to be a monster, but like drag backs, ball rolls, simple, 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 simple skill moves work well against the AI. Trying to get Lopez on side. Lopez, oh, that would have been, that would have been nice. I thought that was flying in for a second. I thought, thought he went top bins and, and buried that one. There we have our center back. I need, let me just go ahead and fix that real quick before I forget about it. What I had at the time that I made this squad, I had Juan Basaka playing right back and moved him to center back. And then I moved my center back, which was Mbabu, over to right back. So that's why this is messing up. So I need to move Barbona over to play right back and then Panola back to center back. So I must have played with it like that the last time and not even noticed. So I'm glad I noticed it now. Okay, so Lissandro, Sriracha, ball roll, getting by like a boss. Oh, Kappa buried it. That would have been sweet. That would have been sweet. But Kappa taking care of business. 
Oh, wow, what a pass in. I don't know how that got through 25 people, but it did. But it didn't amount to anything. All right, let's get the ball back. Nice from Miranda. Sriracha trying to trigger a run. Just get it back over here. We had an overload. Lissandro Lopez. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Find something. Ah, got a little too cute. Lissandro's not. He's more of a striker that's just going to bury the ball for you. But, you know, he can move a little bit, but just got a little bit too much. Dribble, dribble, dribble down there and not enough. Oh, uh oh. Got a shot coming in. Woo. Thought that was going to go in for a second. Luckily, kind of a weak header. I would say the biggest difference between world class and legendary is that world class is not as clinical with their finishing. The defense is, I would almost say, in some ways, and this is going to sound weird, but world class is almost harder to attack. And it's just because they don't switch out of their. Oh, here we go. Lissandra Lopez. Oh, Kappa again. But it seems like world class does not switch out of their defensive focus or their defensive tactics until it's like until the basically the game is over so i've said this before too it's almost like world-class plays for the draw and legendary plays for the win as lissandro lopez buries another one so if that makes sense it's like world-class plays for the draw so they just kind of hold back hold back hold back and even even though they may be down three or four goals they really don't switch to that attacking focus until like the 70th minute mark, where legendary, if you're up a goal at almost like the 40, at the start of the second half, like at the 46 minute, they're just on that attack and you're just kind of holding on and just trying to do whatever you can to, to get something going. But that's to me is the biggest difference between the two. But hopefully, you know, where we've gotten a couple early goals, you know, I mean, it's not going to be any problem as far as winning, but you know, you want to get to that the, to maximize your squad battle points, which at this time of the year, you, Miranda, Miranda, what is, this team is just ridiculous. But as far as squad battles points to maximize that out, and at this time of the year, you want to do that because you want to get the best possible packs from squad battles to try to get another team of the season, give you the best chance at a team of the season. So. Winning 5-0 for all intents and purposes will max out your squad battle points. So, you know, that, that's going to be what you're looking for. There are a few other things like pass accuracy, number of shots. Uh, I think even fouls can play a, a role in that. But it, that, those are more minor things. Like, if you're going for top 100 in squad battles, that, that may be important. But... Ultimately, you're just wanting to win 5 0, and you know, you're going to be within a couple points of maxing it out. So, and if you give up a goal, it's not the, that big of a deal. I think you lose like 75 squad battle points for giving up a goal. Can we get Lopez again? Oh, nice tackle. Okay. Here we, oh, what a terrible pass. Wow. Horrible pass right there. We've got Kawachi. The Racha. It'd be fun to like try a weekend league game with this squad. Sure, I would get slaughtered, but it, it it sounds fun until you actually get into the match. Whoa, okay, so L Lopez. They have had enough of Lopez. They're like, get on the floor, son. All right, do I have anyone that can bury a free kick? Okay, so no, probably Lopez, probably Lissandro Lopez. Can you bury this free kick for us? Can you be an absolute legend? Let's see. Doesn't have a lot of accuracy, so I don't want to get too crazy. Lopez, no, Kappa with the save. I thought that was going to fly in. I didn't want to get too crazy with the aiming because he doesn't have a lot of accuracy, but good effort, Lissandro Lopez. Just couldn't quite bury it. But I, I can't, I am... I don't want to say excited. I'm nervous, maybe, or anxious to see if this is going to count as a win. It's been too many people that have said something about it. Like, when I made my video for last time on Icon Swaps 3, there was maybe one or two people that said it wasn't working. And, you know, it was usually they were using the wrong cards. They weren't using one of the combo ball cards. They were, like, using the gold version of Lissandro Lopez instead of his combo ball version. So, you know, it was easy to find. But this time it's been, like... Oh, come on, go. Zaracho. My gosh, look at this monster. My gosh, look at Zaracho. Oh, and he couldn't bury it. Did all that work holding off that big monster, trying to stop him. 
Oh, you when you do that much work, Zaracha, you've got to bury it, brother. Man, that was sweet. But no, I am. There's just been too many people this time saying that it hasn't counted for it not to be something going on. And, you know, it's not like it's just been the people commenting on my videos. It's been a lot of people on Twitter. So I don't know what's going to happen if it's something going on. I just, like I said, for that many people, it doesn't seem like it because... You know, you just don't have that many people mess it up. And I've had some people say that they've copied this exact squad and it hasn't worked. And I know for a fact that this squad does work. But if it is a glitch, hopefully it will be fixed soon and EA will retroactively give you any wins that you have. Oh, how did I not get through? So I guess we need to focus now on getting to our five goals. It is a little hard to focus on that. You know, once you get up in a match, you're just kind of going through the motions and that's a lot of times when you, sometimes I'll have this, I'll get up 3-0, sometimes we'll even be up 5-0, and then you're just kind of going through the motions or just trying to see the game out. There was some sort of glitch, I never could get it to work, but where you could do like a fake shot stop and then the AI wasn't supposed to come at you, but I never could get that to work. Some people were having some success with that, but you, if you guys are wanting to just score a goal and quit, there was something with like a fake shot stop that was supposed to prevent the AI from coming at you. So like, if you just do this, you know, if you just do something like this and stop, yeah, you know, the AI, you know, they'll just come and take the ball from you. So you can't just set your controller down and do that. But somebody had some way of doing something like that. And then the AI did not try to take the ball from you and you could just see the game out. But like I said, I never could get that to work for me. I'll get the ball. All right, time for you to do some running, Koachi. We haven't come up the left much. So, oh, Koachi, my gosh, what was that? That's like two terrible passes from Koachi. I expect more out of my silver-rated players. Come on, Koachi. Send him on a run. I made him run, then I didn't even pass it to him. That was his punishment for his terrible passing. Oh, man. All right, let's get some focus. I would like to max out my squad battle points because I do want to get some better packs. You know, when we have all of these icon swaps objectives for squad battles, I sometimes even fin end up finishing like Elite 3, and that gives you like a couple mega packs, which is nice at this time of the year. Zoracho, you can't stay with Zoracho, but Zoracho has forgotten how to shoot. Zoracho has forgotten how to shoot. What was that? Come on, baby. So that's like... Two goals minimum that Zaracho should have. I thought he even had, I can't remember for sure. For some reason, I'm thinking there was another one, but there was one at the end of the half and just that one that he has just completely fluffed his lines on. And Lissandra Lopez is up there like, just pass it to me, brother. I will bury it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, nice. Kawachi making work on defense, but still, that one was more user error than Kawachi. But nice moves from Kawachi to get that steal. He's trying to prove his medal on the defensive side of the pitch. Shakiri dribbling in the corner, just flinging a cross over and going to no one. That was interesting. So the world-class AI attacking is can be really weird. Sometimes it seems like they're... They're awesome, and sometimes it seems like they make moves like that where they just dribble in a corner and fling a ball across. So I don't know, boys. But I do know that I would like to get the five. Let's see, Lissandra is not... Oh, that did get... Zaracha finally tracked that ball down. I don't know how that got through, but I will take it. That's what I want to see the replay on. Zaracha is my favorite player. From this team, so I just want to see him tracking that down. Kappa's like coming out. I'm gonna get. It. I'm gonna get it. Zaracha is like, uh, uh, missed too many chances. I don't even know how this ball got through. Wasn't even a great pass. Oh, that actually was better than I thought. A better angle, but Zaracha tracking that down like a boss. Kappa coming out. Zaracha says, "No, sir." Very, very nice. I am glad Zaracho got at least one goal buried. And now we just need one more to get to that five to max out our squad battles points. See, and then we'll see if we get this win counted or not. Why? The AI is just dribbling into the corner there and just flinging something across. Like, that is really weird. I've never really seen them do that, like, multiple times.
Okay, we got a runner. We got a runner. We got a runner. He's getting tired, though. We got a Lissandro getting bullied off. Getting bullied off. But now you can kind of feel like the world-class AI, now that they're down four goals, are like, maybe we should attack a little bit. So it feels like they are attacking some. So hopefully we can take advantage of that and just go ahead and get goal number five. Oh, come on, you had to run there. Now I don't really have a good passing angle. But I, I would say like one of the, the best ways to score against the AI is triggering runs. Like they just do not seem to recognize that. Like you can even, if I get the ball back, I'll show you. Now a lot of my guys are getting tired now, losing their stamina. A lot of these just barely gold players do not have a ton of stamina. But, you know, you can even do this, like, you know, the, the type of move like you do against lesser online opponents. You can just kind of hang out here and just wait for your your guy to make a run. Just try to dribble around in the midfield and then just fling it up and just get some space. So, I mean, that triggering runs is one of the easiest ways to score against the AI. Los Lopez, no, they close it off. Solari... Trying to get it across. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody come open. Whoa, what was that pass to? I thought I had that one. I meant for that to go more across the goal and it went towards the edge of the box. All right, we need, here's going to be our last. Lissandro getting bullied off again. Lissandro getting tired. So it may end up being 4 0, which is fine. You know, the main thing here, I'm just trying to check out if we are going to have that win counted or not. Okay, can we get one more chance? One more chance. Oh, Panola. The passing this year, that, that's probably, outside of the servers, my biggest complaint with the game is just the passing. Whoa, we're going to give up a goal, being crazy. Just such weird. It's so different than it has been in previous FIFAs. And it's not so much like that one I didn't mind as much. You know, in FIFA 18, FIFA 19, that ball that I just passed out what is, went whizzing up the wing. So I don't mind that as much, but the ones I, I do mind are when you are facing your, you know, staring at the guy you want to pass to and it still doesn't go there or it goes somewhere different. So still nice win, 4-0. This team is so much fun to play with. I will have it down below. I just, I didn't want to go through everybody because I wasn't sure if this team was going to work, but I'll have it in the description below. Everybody using this team, like you can see there, everybody except for Kawachi was over a 9.0 rating as far as my front line goes so very very nice team very a lot of fun to play with just see our stats here let's see so you can see there our passing accuracy was 91 percent and i wasn't even focusing on that a lot but you know you just want to control the ball a little bit against the ai and take care of that but let's go and check it out see if this is going to count as a win will it count towards the objective let's find out Okay, guys, now for the moment of truth. Did it count towards the comma ball objective? Let's see. Let's go down here. Icon swap single player. There's our one from the United States yesterday. And there it did count. Wow, I am shocked. So it did count. So it's showing as one out of five. I honestly am shocked. I thought for sure with how many people I have seen complain about it that it would not count at all. So there must be some sort of glitch, but it must not be for everybody. I'll just go through this real quick just to try to give you guys some tips just to make sure you are doing it 100% correct. The main thing you need to look for is to make sure the card at the very, if you kind of blow up the card, you can see it a little better. But at the top center of the card, you can see either a Libertadores or a Sudamericana logo at the very top center, like above Perez's head there. So you'll see that in this is all of mine here are Libertadores, but you can also use Pseudo Americana cards. You can also use the special version. So you can use like the Lissandro Lopez high rated version. Let me just show you that one real quick. So you can use this Lissandro Lopez card. However, what some people did get in trouble with last time is they were using these cards from the Libertadores and Pseudo Americana 
SBC, you cannot use these cards. These do not count as combable cards for whatever reason. So it's kind of confusing there. Like some of them count as SBC cards. That Cardozo, I think, counts as a flashback. So they do not count. So if you're using one of these Libertadores or Pseudo Americana SBC cards, then that will not count. But definitely keep me posted, guys. Let me know if it starts working for you. I'm not sure if EA just fixed it or if they're going to retroactively fix it. There have been many times in the past where they will retroactively fix something. So especially like sometimes you need to score like a goal in seven different matches and you do that and it only counts two of them and then... You, it goes back like a couple days later and it fixes all of the ones from every match. So it could retroactively fix it for you guys. But definitely let me know down below if it gets fixed for you, if it's working for you. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter. Follow me everywhere. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.